Oh, my nose is running. I have to get a tissue. It's coffee time. Our favourite Gales. So gorgeous around here. Just can't get enough ever. I really hope you can be in focus because my eyesight's gotten so bad I can't fully see if I am. I feel like I constantly have my I need to like like focus my eyeballs. They just I feel like I'm not seeing anyway. Um I thought I had a like in my head I was like, yeah, I've got a vlog for this week. Because last week I didn't manage to film one. I've only got two minutes of footage. Oh jeez. And that's just quite short, isn't it, guys? I like to give you good videos, interesting videos to watch, not boring videos. I think one of the problems, well, it's not really a problem, it's just a reality. It's just the last two weeks I've been feeling quite sad. And when I'm sad, I just feel like I'm very quiet. I can't think of anything to say or show you guys. But I really want to make a video. Um, so I thought I would just come and talk to you guys for a bit and then I'll include that in this week's video and then I'll try again better next week. One thing I do want to do, because I'm going to be going back to the office soon, um, I really want to do like an evening routine from the office. I always tell you guys what I want to do and sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't, but I think that could be a good idea. Um, it's a shame that you guys can't talk back to me whilst I'm filming this because we could have a chat, but yeah how are you all let me know in the comments i hope you're all well lockdown has been officially lifted in the uk well not not in all of the uk actually in england because i think scotland i think scotland and wales might be doing something different i'm not entirely sure um don't take my word for it i don't keep as thoroughly up to date with the news because it just i find it just really impacts my brain um but England, the lockdown ended. So it's just the stay at home order that ended. Shops are still closed. You still can't dine at restaurants and you can't even sit outside restaurants yet. But in a couple of weeks, that will be changing. And then me and Alan will go on a, a very safely planned trip um, to hopefully Bao in Soho because we love Bao's food. I've mentioned it a couple of times in other videos. And it's just so delicious. Um, if you haven't seen the video I made last, I think was it? I don't know when it was. I think it was at autumn or winter time. Let me check. But I made a whole vi a whole vlog um, at the end of last year about Bao. Um, let's see when that was. But maybe I'll link that in the description box so if you've not seen it, you have something more interesting than this to go watch. Especially if this is your first time watching one of my videos, you're gonna be like, this is very boring. I promise they're not normally this boring. Normally we go out places. Uh, but like I said, my mood has just not been permitting and I think probably part of it is just coming to the end of, you know, we've been home for so long now, I think it's been like three months, which is fine. Obviously, we all know why we're doing that and understand why we're doing that, but everything gets a bit repetitive, doesn't it? And then just life on top of that gets repetitive. Um, okay, so this video was in September. Oh, it was, I posted it the day after Alan's birthday. I'll link that in the description box um, below and then you guys can watch that if you want to, if you've not seen it. It's a couple's date night in Soho eating out at Bao. Did I call it Bao or Bo? I think I called it Bao. Um, yeah, Bao's one of our favorite restaurants. Can't wait to go back there when it's opened up. And I also just like, I really love getting a coffee out, like from like a good coffee place, like a nice cappuccino or a latte. I get decaf, I can't handle the full stuff. It sets me off like a rocket out of my bum. I just, I can't cope with it. I end up like, I'm surprised when I've had full coffee that I've not ended up like jumping and my head goes through the ceiling because I can't handle my coffee. But a decaf coffee I can handle. I know decaf coffee has got coffee in it but it's a much smaller amount I can just about handle that but there's something about going out getting a coffee that's so nice last summer when we could sit outside coffee shops I loved going like taking my journal with me my notepad doing journaling and having a coffee on my own like a date and I really want to do that again so maybe when I go back to the office I could do that on a lunch break like go get myself a coffee take away and do some journaling I think the power of journaling is so strong. Sometimes I find 
I feel like oh, I need to talk to someone but like who do I talk to or I don't want to bring other people down and journaling is a really good way to get all your thoughts and feelings out of your body like you're taking them out of your head and your body and you're putting them into words on paper sometimes they can be really interesting to reflect on so um yeah I'm really looking forward to doing that I really like sitting outside like um, coffee shops and gales and barns which is where we went earlier in this vlog it's just such a beautiful place to sit outside and then also people watch it's nice when the sun's shining so I'm looking forward to doing that more um I also want to buy some more clothes I do want to show you guys all the clothes I have like clothes I have in my wardrobe the thing is most of them you've already seen like there's nothing in my wardrobe you've not seen because I only have the clothes I have I wear so I think I've got three pairs of trousers and one pair of jeans and then a pair of dungarees and that's pretty much it at the moment and then I've got quite a few jumpers like knitwear is my weak point my, my weakness um but I do feel like I would like some some more clothes for spring obviously I can wear the three pairs of trousers I've got now for spring but they're black navy and then this like dark um it's not really like this color it's like a, it's like a this kind of gray but green it's a bit of a hard olive like a dark olive color um I, I really I hope I'm in focus I can't tell if I am I'm sorry my eyesight's really bad and my camera focus isn't entirely working um but yeah a lot all my clothes are very dark so I really want some like lighter tones for spring but we'll see we'll see if I find anything um I'm trying to think if there's anything else to catch you up on um I have been binge watching the vampire diaries I watched it years ago when it first came out was obsessed with it I think I got to season the end of season six and then when season seven started I was like this is ridiculous I can't get on board with this anymore and I stopped watching it but then in January I was like you know what I'm gonna re-watch it and see if I can get to the end sorry this is very rude of me and I managed it I watched all eight seasons and Alan absolutely hated it I had it on the tv all the time and he just thought it was the stupidest show and he couldn't wait for it to end and I actually got so into it that now I really want to re-watch it again even though it is ridiculous I just want to re-watch it again I feel like they're my friends like I spent three from January to like last week with them every day and now I'm not with them anymore so I've been watching bloopers on YouTube I have like quite an obsessive personality so when I get into something I'm very like in the zone um but now that's finished I have started the bold type on Netflix which I really like. The first 10-15 minutes I was like mm, I'm a bit bored, I, this is rubbish, I'm gonna turn it off but then I thought no I'll, I'll give it a go. I thought I'll give it a go and actually it was really good and now I'm on season two. I'm sorry I'm yawning so much, it's very rude. It's 20 to 10, no wonder I'm yawning, I should be in bed. Um, But have you guys watched any good shows lately? I like things which thing is I like things where I don't really have to think and that aren't going to scare me and Vampire Diaries I did find quite tense I remember finding it quite scary when I first watched it but now when I watched it I kept reminding myself this isn't real um and I kept reminding myself as well that like okay I, I did cheat a little bit I might have looked at what happens in the ending just because I couldn't take the suspense like I really needed to know if Damon and Elena would be able to have a happy ever after and I wanted to know what happened to Stefan, but I have to say the main thing I found, it's going to be a huge spoiler if you haven't watched it, so just skip this bit if you want to watch Vampire Diaries and you haven't watched it, because this is going to be a huge spoiler. But Bonnie and Enzo, they were the best love story I've ever seen. Like that was, I was rooting for them so much, oh god I was so sad. I was so sad that didn't work out. I kept telling the TV, like, this is a terrible storyline. What are you doing? Just let them have their happy ending. Is that so much to ask? I know in a way it's fine because, like, she went and lived her life and then potentially they'll meet again and be at peace. But I wanted them to have their happy ending. Oh, that was very sad. I love Bonnie. I think she's probably, she probably was my favourite character. And then I really liked Caroline as well. And then I really liked Damon. But there's something about Damon where like sometimes I like 
love Damon and sometimes I just think he's a bit cringe and it's such a fine line that I can't quite work it out and I think that's what's feeding my obsession is like trying to work out are you are you like what are you are you amazingly fabulous or are you a bit are you a bit cringe I just can't tell I can't tell anyway I love tv shows and movies I just get completely absorbed into them um so hopefully we can have like a vampire virus chat in the comments um yeah maybe i'll wrap it up i've been doing one for 10 minutes but who knows what um those of you that are still around i do apologize i apologize that you've sat through this but i hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless i don't know but hopefully more good content coming soon guys i really appreciate you sticking with me and I know a lot of you understand as well. It's just sometimes like I just find when I feel sad, I just feel very quiet. Well, there's levels of sadness. Sometimes you can cover it up and you still keep going. Like right now, I still feel sad, but I can have a chat and still keep going. But there's sometimes the sadness is just so much sadness that I just feel like I can't, I've got nothing to say. Um, and that's the balance of living life and then wanting to make YouTube videos, I guess just finding that balance but I think it will be good when we can get out more and do more varied things I definitely feel like I get a part of my lease of life by exploring um so much of me always thinks that it's from seeing London but I think it's exploring I think it doesn't even need to be abroad if it's somewhere new that I can look around and have things to look at like that interests me so yeah we can go explore together again soon um and do something nice Okay, I really will wrap it up now, but I hope you guys are all well, and I will see you next week for another video. I will think of something interesting this time, I promise. Bye. Bye.